Hey folks, Quilly King here, and welcome to another episode of our Let's Play of Dwarf Fortress. And I have to admit, I think I'm kind of disappointed that I don't think I'm going to be able to crack that nut of the goblin encampment. But we're going to try. We're going to go and send out our military. Let's double check their equipment and see if they're just willing to bend knee. If that doesn't work, clearly we're not going to be able to just attack the stronghold. Okay, your situation seems to be pretty good right now. There's some stuff yellow as if people are going to be equipping themselves, but are they or are they not is a little bit of a question mark. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fling everyone's schedule to the monthly orders where they're guaranteed to be operating right now, which hopefully will ensure that they go and equip themselves with the latest available gear. And then we're going to get a squad out there and try to get them to bend the knee. We're also going to want to try to do the same thing with the freaking humans under death fullence. Death fullence? You know, I kind of like it. Yeah, the death fullence that keep uh, blocking it. Again, if they were to attack us with war elephants, we'd be fine because we do the surround, we'd overwhelm with numbers, it would be okay. It's just a constant one-on-one -on -one dueling, as I understand it. Um, people, uh, people, the viewers actually gave the feedback about that with these sites and how all the combat is one-on-one -on -one and that uh, leads to a problem with these single super strong enemies. <sighs> but we'll see. So our goal of just militaristically taking over the pocket world, and this is our second attempt at it, might not work out. But we're going to try to do the bend the knee because it is a thing I think, I think I saw it on Reddit. Uh, people said, you know, you can try to just show up, threaten the site to get them to bend the knee and it might work, even though theoretically your military might not be able to just overwhelm them with pure strength. Maybe I should try the human sites first, actually, because maybe they won't. Maybe they, they won't see the the elephants as being military units the same way, although if they're war elephants, then maybe. I don't know. Looks like we used maybe an unforbid all on the map. I was just seeing some stuff over here. Oh, he's still forbidden. Why is that? I mean, I know it's super worn out. It, the unforbid all must ignore super worn out clothing. And again, fair enough. Are we doing the dump on this? I wonder if we already did. I don't remember what this left off. All these guys, they seem... Okay, I think we already did the dump, and we're just collecting the stuff there. It has been a few days since we recorded. I mean, there's been a gap on YouTube, uh, I'm sure, at this point. It's because I kind of, kind of kept hesitating to come back and trying to think about what we're going to do. So we are going to send the raid there, and then, assuming if it doesn't work, then what we're going to do is we're going to dig out this pillar. The pillar of fun times. And we'll have ourselves a grand conclusion to this run. But maybe the bending the knee will work. And the grand conclusion will be that we have successfully taken over our pocket world. I mean, obviously, we'd have to do it multiple times for multiple little locations. And so I think um, I think I'm going to have to send multiple military squads there. And I think that they will join the site. But then I can request that some of them come back. I might need a messenger for that. I'm not sure. We don't have one assigned. Let's go ahead and pick one up here. Um, there we go. Pavilinox here is a bone carver, presumably not also in the military. Oh, you seem to be armored. Maybe Nomad Gunslinger, who does not appear to be wearing armor and as a fishery worker, so that's their best skill. So they probably haven't been assigned to anything critical. So we'll do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to check with the built-in search box that now exists in here. We'll verify. Oh, you are in the Veiled sil Silvers. Okay, so we're going to have to take Nomad Gunslinger out of that. Veiled... Oh, it's an archer. So how come it's calling you a fishery worker? How come you didn't get a better... better title than that? You know what I mean? Um... Hang on. There we go. We're going to replace you with someone else. Oh, hello, autosave. Thank you, autosave. Come on, you can finish, thank you. Okay, exclude everyone else, find someone who's not appointed to a job. Fageva! Okay, you're gonna get pulled in there. I mean, in hindsight, I could have also just pulled Fage or pulled um, Nomad off the uh, messenger job, but they had pretty good skills for it. I don't know how important that actually is, but we're gonna go ahead and give that a go. All right, so uh, we may have, oh, Veil of Silvers, that's okay, we're not sending them on things. So let's go to the world map. Let's pick did we attack this one? Wordy Hollow. We did. Okay, so Wordy Hollow has got a death elephant. So 
So let's demand surrender and occupy. Maybe I could just send one squad. Although again, the thought is if I demand multiple squads, then what I'll do is I'll communicate with the site and ask for them to come back. Okay, let's, you know what? We won't half ass it. We're gonna, the first one we're gonna do for serious here. Okay, we only have one mission, good. Demand, surrender, and occupy, yes. And then yeah, we'll ask for them to return afterwards. So this is gonna be our te test run. A place we attacked and failed to defeat because of at least one elephant. Maybe I should have just gone for the big prize immediately. I don't know. Population is basically capped. I'm wondering if I should ask for another bulk job of breastplates and things in case these people don't come back. We have 40. Well, this might be doing the thing where it's um, where it's weirdly listing things that are still equipped on our people. I guess we have a little armor stockpile uh, here. If it's going to include all the leather stuff, too, it's going to be kind of hard to piece together. Now, our smelting one down here, I do have it to set to take, right? This is the melt me and oh, yeah, you can accept from anywhere. That's fine. But then, yes, you take from two armor stockpiles, the one that's down below here and the one that's on the surface. You will take things that meet your filters, which is just stuff made out of metal. We're going to like the core quality. We just leave everything on. But the total quality, which is I think the total quality is if it gets encrusted and stuff. But this final number is fine. I think we can leave this filter on for everything. I think it's been working OK and do that. And yeah, usable and unusable. I mean, in theory, <coughs> what we could do is we could set up a second melting stockpile. That accepts unusable metal armor and sets to melting. Actually, that might be a good idea. In case we have some No, not permanently. I just want to trim this back by like one level here. We're going to create a new stock, a new stockpile right here. This is going to be, it will be set to armor. Um, armor unusable. And we accept everything except usable armor. Oh, and also stuff we can't melt down. So metal armor of any quality that is unusable should be allowed in this stockpile. And then we're going to do the same thing where we take from the uh, take from this, take from this, and then I think we have to do a give to each one of these because they have all they all have attached stockpiles that they will only take from. Done. Okay. Because it sets a connection in both directions. There. Melt me, armor, and usable. Um, so there's nothing in here right now. What I'll do is I'll wait for a little while. In theory, like, some of the armor might have already gone to the melt me if it's unusable. But in theory, there might be a high enough quality unusable armor that might end up over here. Okay, we've got a new holding. That's good. I guess we could even request dwarves from those places. Okay, you guys are still away. What a weird little icon. Traveling otherwise occupied off-site. You, are you still here? You're picking up equipment. You haven't left yet? I mean, I know I was paused for a bit, but I'm still kind of surprised. You're currently ascending. I think you went way down below and to pick up some equipment. Now you're picking up more on our near main floor. Might just be some leatherware, some socks. Something like that. Okay, get provisions. All right. Well, good luck. We're going to stop following you now. Uh, where are people going on the surface? Is there like a chopped tree over here? Did we fight? Wait, were you picking up water? Oh, yeah. Give water. Oh, we probably have some dwarves in the hospital. Mm, I don't see any. Are you guys all on a give water job? Store item bin. 
Store item in stockpile. Okay. I mean, we might want to build a well to minimize some walking time. Yeah, you're just hanging out here. Promise if you hang out here long enough, you might get thirsty or hungry and then back off again. You know, this. Okay. These three militias have already gone. It's Bunisher over here is back to picking up some equipment. What is going on with you? Also, you're clearly moving extremely slowly. And that's because you have all this heavy armor stuff and you don't actually have good armor skill. Adequate armor user. I don't remember what level adequate is. But I think... At about level 5 for armor use, I think the, the penalty came, became pretty small. I don't think it ever completely eliminates itself, but after about 5 ranks of it, I think it mostly goes away. I'd have to pull up the wiki for the actual numbers. Okay, you're getting your provisions. Okay, now you're leaving to seize Wardy Hollow. Okay, well, hopefully you'll actually depart at this point. Because it's honestly getting a little bit embarrassing how long this is taking. Come on, get your stuff together. FPS is not capped, as you'll notice here. I mean, we do have a pretty full cap. I mean, I know this has gone down here, but we do actually have about 200 dwarves, just some of them left. Although there's the thing, with some of them left, maybe it should be running a little higher. But there's a lot of pathfinding, a new demand. All right. I'm not going to worry about it until I get the um, demand expiring soon message. Thank you very much, DF Hack, for that. It's wonderful. It is much appreciated. Is that Punisher? Yep, finally leaving. All right, good. Annoyed you got caught in the rain. Well, I'm annoyed by a lot of things you were doing, Punisher, so... You're melting down a metal object. Is there anything in this bin? No. We might simply not have any non-usable armor. Um, I, we haven't been attacked by humans yet. So I think if we got raided by humans, their stuff would all be large size, would all be bigger than our dwarves can use. So those would all count as unusable stuff, right? As opposed to um, the goblins, which wear the same size of equipment as our goblins, so none of them would count as unusable. Although, of course, we wouldn't want to use them because it's been worn by filthy, filthy goblins. Okay, everyone is now away, which is great. I wish we could see where they are on the world map, but we don't have the real-time communication. It's a medieval setting. It makes sense. Maybe later when the magic system gets incorporated? Hmm, right? We get some sending messages, something like that. How's the trade depot? Yeah, still has tons of stuff, including tons of leather bins. It's actually I still don't know why this catch-all stockpile, again, which is the same stockpile as this one. It's the exact same one. I don't know why nothing's going to be delivered here. Well, there are a couple of random bolts. There's that. And I know they always fill the the, the stockpiles from, well, I was going to say from top left to bottom right. Except here, that's not what's happening. I don't know. Ouch. Is, oh, starving dehydrator to drowsy unit. It's Minic. Oh, my God. Yeah, see, this is what happened. It took so long for them to depart and they're moving kind of slow because of all this armor wow, that's embarrassing yeah i don't you're still you haven't departed quite right because you're you're desynced here with the rest of the group i blame bunisher <laughs> hi bunisher <laughs> if you're if you're watching oh yeah we're detailing the walls and all the bedrooms which should hopefully help keep a lot of the moods up Although we do have a couple of cranky dwarves, it's probably ones who are kind of thirsty and miserable. Cyborg Manatee, the hunter is asleep. All right. Away from family, frustrated. Are you in a military? You're in the Veiled Slivers. You're one of the archers. Which, yeah, is on, like, constant schedule right now, but that wasn't before. You're just doing a bad job of finding some spare time for yourself. Oh, wait, it still says staggered training. Did I not go? Oh, I clicked here. I had meant before to put people on constant training to get themselves equipped. Were they already in constant training and moved them to staggered? Because I felt like I moved them call it. I, I had assumed they were on staggered because that was my default. Okay, so maybe they were on constant training for a little while, which A, means going to staggered didn't help with them getting on their equipment, but B, could explain why that military dwarf was miserable, actually. Someone just got a little bit happier. It's probably GW Fenton, who was the other super miserable person. They are militia commander. Yeah, it's probably the same thing. They were probably sick of being on constant training for too long. So putting them on staggered is good. Okay, as far hopefully everyone is gone. We don't have the message anymore about someone being thirsty. Although, how long did it take them to go downstairs to pick up a drink? Because I don't think we've got any in barracks. Oh, that's not true. There's one prepared food barrel. 
and one drink barrel over here. So there is some dr food and drinks available on the surface. Although I think we saw him walking east. We wa saw them walking east, I should say. I actually don't know if they're male or female. And then rather than moving up the stairs, but maybe I didn't track you long enough. Maybe you're just walking down here and then I stopped following you. Who knows? But in theory, there is some food or drink available on the surface. Although it's possible because there's only one. If another dwarf was going here, it may have locked the barrel for any other dwarf and they may not have been able to select the same thing. <clears throat> that is entirely possible. I wonder, I bet you we were done here. So let me go and lock this door. Let me go and pull this lever. We'll smoosh this. Oh, wait, hold on. If we're done pulling the stuff out of this, what we actually want to do is dump these stockpile, these, these things again here and smoosh everyone who's in a cage, which is mostly going to be goblins, beak dogs. How come there's empty cages over here? There shouldn't be empty cages right there. And then we've got another giant wild boar. You know what? Fine, I'm not going to deal with you. So I'm guessing no one has moved you? Because you shouldn't be in the full cages. Yeah, we don't allow empty cages in this stockpile. Oh, it's because the empty cages stockpile is full. Silly me. You know what? We're not really making use of this space the way I'd thought for training and things. Well, I mean, we were for a little while. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to repaint this stockpile. Um, yeah, we're going to expand it westward. Oh, it replaces that meat barrel, which I guess is going to be fine. Then I'm going to shrink it there, except, and then I'm going to the empty cage of stockpile. I'm going to embiggen thusly. Yeah, we're gonna put all the, the cages to be smushed over there. We'll wait for all that movement to be done. Lock the door, pull the lever. Squad's still out. See, I'm not sure if they fight if the demand gets denied or if they just run back home. Maybe they do fight. Maybe it's like, oh, you didn't surrender anymore? Okay, we'll try to seize it by force. It wasn't, I don't think it was being described over here. Okay. Lock the door. Pull the lever, smush all those goblins and beak dogs. <gasps> oh, there we go. The Hamlet of Warty Hollow, half day's travel to the northeast, has been conquered and incorporated into your holdings. So it worked. They did just bend the knee. Okay. We got a mission report. Okay, there's this raid one, but this sees. <clears throat> oh, is there still a battle? There was still a battle. Is Is this us? Yeah, winter... So, hang on. Surrendered Worry Hollow. Defeated the council. New government was called in. Oh, and then they were be- Oh, it wasn't battle. They were literally just getting executed? Okay. So click to request workers. Um, that's my messenger. The messenger has been assigned. And I'm going to request I, like all but one. I don't, for all I know, I can request all of them. But I'm going to request all but one here. Whoever's at the bottom of the list stays there in charge of the population. But I want these guys back. They have some skill. They have some equipment. So... Fist McSlambone is going to stay as governor of that location. In theory. So my messenger is going to go out, request for people to come back and do that. Actually, some of them might not have even been part of my military, but whatever. We're just going to go down that way. That's going to be fine. <clears throat> and then I, I suspect we'll have to put you back into your squads. Um, but then we'll just do this again. Okay, that worked. That worked really well. Because on paper is a very terrifying dwarven army. It's just that they lose in the, the enforced one by one fights. And maybe that's something that could change. Maybe the simulation of battles at these faraway sites could be 
simulated more fully, which I mean, isn't going to be great for performance, although how often you do it? Well, I guess the problem is that other civilizations are constantly warring over sites. Uh, pull this lever again, please. And so that probably would hurt tank or DPS or <laughs> FPS. And unlock this door. Okay, so now people can start dumping their old clothes there all over again, and it's going to be fine. This barrel is going to get moved somewhere at some point. I mean, I could put a, another meat stockpile here, but I think I'm done my efforts to try to tame the wild boars. I wasn't too impressed by the process. So yeah, when we smash things, we did do some mast works. Ooh, Carejack's metalsmith withdraws from society. What workshop are you going to claim, my dude? Cancel your drink. Yep, that's fine. We've got some drinks. We're still making like plump helmets. Actually, a big plump helmet harvest is happening here. So I think it was the brew, brew, brew drinks from ooh, Magma Forge. Nice. From fruit that ended, which is always the case. Um, but from plants, we've got lots of plants. So we don't grow that many fruit. I mean, it would be, as far as I know, it'd be an overground crop. I don't think any of the dwarven stuff counts as a fruit. We could do um, harvesting on the surface too, but meh. But we could, so we could be constantly growing strawberries here just to make sure that that gets satisfied. Right now, I'm just letting the auto farm handle it. Whatever we don't have X amount of, it's going to prioritize growing that just to have a variety. Now, here's a question I don't know the answer to. So dwarves have a preference for certain types of foods and drinks. When they go and grab a meal, assuming a meal of their preference exists, do they prioritize taking that? Or is it just random what meal they grab? I would hope they prioritize checking like, okay, I'm hungry. Let's do a scan of all, say, the prepared meals in the fortress and see if any of them have my preferred food. If not, just, you know, pick a random or closest. But I don't know, it might literally be totally random and therefore they wouldn't necessarily. Because let's say by having a smattering of these things, we can ensure that we might have, you know, everyone's favorite veg covered. But it might not actually matter. Still hoping the population comes up soon. If we go to the world map, do we see missions? Oh, okay. Let me cancel that first request because I think I'd misclick. There's just this one. Uh, Nomad Gunslinger. Are you on our map or have you left? Nomad. You are currently having a drink. Okay. <clears throat> now you're storing an item in a bin. There you go. Now you're going to go make a request. Oh, you're storing another item in a bin. Why are you hauling a toy axe? Make request, store item in bin. I have not played with the messenger system very much. Why is Nomad not leaving? Why is he, why is he constantly starting the make request and then canceling it? <clears throat> make request. Okay, the make request is still there. Oh, Richie, the Countess of Wardy Hollow has a new demand. Oh, one of the Countess, the Countess is here. Okay, I think Nomad might be leaving now. Although they're stressed, which makes me unhappy. Which I suspect it's not gonna improve when you're gone. Yeah, you are way down the bottom of the fort. As with digging deeply like this, the travel times become ridiculous. Nope, now you're back to storing items and bins. Make request. Just leave. Just leave. I wonder... Oh, now you're going to go construct a building. I'm going to turn off. We'll do available tasks anywhere. Well, now you will only do assigned tasks. I mean, I think they'll finish this make this construct building, which is what? A door or a piece of furniture? Oh, a burial thing. I've turned everything else off for you. Well, theoretically. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just wondering if this sticks around for a while and they haven't made it to the surface, if they might like time out the job and just see if there's something else. But now that there's nothing else, maybe it won't time out. Or we'll time out, but they'll immediately restart it and then keep going. Okay. A little confused why it's not working. There wasn't uh, going properly before. Because it feels to me like... You've got, you picked up the job, you just keep going it. But I'm going to go with the assumption that maybe it times out if it takes you too long to leave the map. So 
So you're still gathering items. What have you collected so far? Um, right here. Iron bars. Although, I can't remember if there's an icon to show that it's for this job. It might be what this is. Iron bars, alpaca leathers, pearl, pear wood logs, gabbro blocks, shale gizzard stones. All right. I'm keep at it. Uh, oh, the population is going up. I'm assuming that means get missions in red. So our dwarves, yeah, are coming in. I mean, this is a small world, so it really doesn't take long for the dwarves to get anywhere. So I'm guessing now, if I take a look at Nomad Gunslinger, you're back? Yep, you're back. Camp equipment. What equipment? Oh, you would tell me what you're picking up. What equipment do you need for your job? Yeah, you don't you don't mine, you don't hunt, so you're not picking up or fish. But mm, fish doesn't have equipment. Mining and hunting has equipment. Or if you're in the military, but you're not. No job, dump items. Okay. So you're still doing hauling as it turns out. Or you're you're just dumping the item you're carrying. An old piece of clothing. Maybe that's what it was for equipment. You're just upgrading your 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 clothing. That makes sense. Okay. Fair enough. So with our military, so you don't have a leader. What I'm going to do is this. We're going to change the sorting. I want tactics at the top. And what's interesting here is JMath has good tactics, but no military skill. They must have not even been in the military. But you're just a novice. We could go all the way down to Blue Salamander here, who's actually pretty decent at fighting. But it might make sense for us to go and make sure the leader of each one of our squads has the best tactics. Teaching's another good one. But yeah, we'll go with tactics. So JMath at the top of this squad. And then before I uh, do any others, the geared teeth show tactics. Wait. Why are we seeing completely different dwarves here? What? Oh, I'm, I bet you I know what's happening. I bet you it's actually defaulting to melee effectiveness despite showing tactics skill. So then if we go and explicitly put it back to tactics, yeah, okay, that's what's going on here. Um, so yeah, even though it might, it might be bonkers, I don't know. So Ansgar is going to lead the geared teeth now and Ruben Kluns. I mean, actually the tactics skill is only one. They actually have shit for tactics in the end, but you know what, we'll do it anyway. Did you... Did I sign you or not? Where'd you go? All right, F it. For the rest, we won't care. Uh, the best possible fighter, sure, can lead these two. That's gonna be okay. Because this is, I'm sure, actually sorting my melee effectiveness now. But when, then I clicked, it didn't actually assign you. Okay, something's weird. There you go. Okay, so now let's fill out these squads. First of all, the Veiled Silvers or Archers are fine. So here, we've got all filters. It's melee effect, and this should be it. We're going to ignore anyone who's been assigned to a task, although you're quite good at this. But that's fine. You, you might have become a legendary whatever or something. Okay. That's one. Geared Teeth. There. Armored groups. So this does mean that the squads that are higher up in the list are getting the more elite dwarves. Maybe this squad for a leader. What if I toggle sorted by best teacher? And you are assigned to something. We could put justified in here. Although they don't have any military skills currently.
But everyone we're going to put in the fences here are going to have no weapon skills. Okay. Para Rit. Teaching skill, and you have technically some weaponry. Para Rit, you're going to lead the fences. Before I go any further, let's find Para. Labor. They're in the Weavers group, so I'm going to remove you from the Weavers group, Hera. You're just going to be part of the military. We are going to look to assign... Classic Brad's already in here as a Weaver. Good. We're going to keep you there. So now we can sort by melee effectiveness. So we're going to put in uh, Gamble here, who is actually quite good. And then we're just going to be throwing in a bunch of randos. but hope that you train up fairly well. Okay. Now, in terms of equipment, yeah, some of these have custom because they were probably assigned. Actually, I'm gonna assign a lighter uniform. None of these people, except maybe Gamble, have heavy armor skill. So we're just gonna kit them out with light armor to start off with. All the rest, I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna reset your stuff here. To heavy plus spear. Just make sure everything's okay. All right. And these squads are all going to be set to constant training. Because there's some new people and nothing else. Okay. Production mandate nearing deadline. Um, probably this one here. Oh, tin cabinet. Listen, that's not going to happen. Tin cabinet. Oh, can we? Can I check bars of tin a platinum oh we do have tin bars okay hold on then order do this in cabinet boom just make the one and then who is it whomst wanted that elijah Lilja. so oh, i guess i could have selected you and gone to your office but i can also do this okay over here and you wanted the tin cabinet in your office. So we will go build, furniture, cabinet. The material has to be tin. We're gonna put it in there. And then for you, we're gonna make it top right. Okay, it's already there, although, um, yeah, that should work. Okay. And then, yeah, if we are going to build anything else, we're going to want to clear that filter. I guess all these are blocks by default. No material cabinet. Because it hasn't been tagged yet. Hidden cabinets at the top. So that's going to show up at a forge, right? I'm assuming. I guess I could have manually queued a thing here, too. Yeah, but I mean, the forge must be the only place where you can make that. There it is. In cabinet. Okay. And it's eventually going to start being made. Are you still collecting stuff for your artifact? Oh my god. It's going to be a valuable freaking artifact. All right. We'll give them a little bit more time to equip themselves. And then I don't really know how and if it works, but we will use the detect conflicts and update equipment thing maybe one time on these people. And yeah, the fact that we don't see anyone training here is telling me the dwarves are all just grabbing their equipment right now. So it's going to take a while for them to be reset. But then maybe we go and send them after one of the big sites. Send them straight to the goblin capital or send them straight to the human capital and well, I think the goblins only have the one built, the one, um, the one site left, their capital. Maybe we should just try that. <gasps> Carajax has begun mysterious construction. Lovely. All right. Well, we'll go ahead and put a cut in here. And next episode, uh, we'll let, uh, we'll let these folks pick up their equipment. I mean, we might, we might just send a part of them. Just because the training is, is still going on with the fences over here. And if the uh, surrender chance is partially also based on, like, if they're looking at a total of skill, if they're looking at total of equipment, then maybe that last squad isn't adding that much. But, I mean, it's still, it's still numbers. I don't know internally how that works, but 
it clearly did work. A site that rebuffed us previously totally just bent the knee when we demanded the surrender. And then I guess we executed the council? Crazy. All right, folks, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.